Audacity is a free audio recorder available for Windows, Mac, and Linux that can be used for music recording. With a few simple steps, Audacity can be used to create and edit electric guitar recordings. <laughs> To record an electric guitar with Audacity, we're going to need our electric guitar, quarter inch instrument cable, and an audio interface to connect the guitar to the computer. If needed, you can substitute the audio interface for an electric guitar USB cable, but that will make monitoring your signal during recording much more difficult. As Audacity is open source software on Windows, it does not include support for ASIO from Steinberg to connect to an audio interface with low latency without compiling the software yourself. To be able to monitor the guitar input while recording in Audacity, you will need to enable the input monitoring on your audio interface directly. Most audio interfaces will have this feature, including my single input Behringer UM2 audio interface. This is a great low budget audio interface for home recording as it has a microphone input with phantom power, instrument input, and headphone output for playback. With whatever audio interface you're using, connect your guitar, headphones, and turn on input monitoring. All we have to do to start is use the audio setup to select our input on our audio interface. Then just start recording by pressing the red record button. Once the clip is recorded, we have basic mixing tools on the left for volume and panning. With the release of Audacity version 3.2, Audacity now supports VST3 plugins and real-time plugin playback without having to add it as a process first. To get some guitar effects, we need to add a Guitar Amp Simulator plugin to Audacity, and since none of them are included with the program, we can add the Amplitube Free Guitar Amp Simulator from IK Multimedia to get some basic sounds. This amp simulator has some amps, cabinets, and pedals locked out unless you pay for the paid full version, but there's enough to start with, and there's also plenty of other free guitar amp plugins that we've looked at in other videos on this channel that will also work. Now that Audacity has real-time effects, we can adjust the sound of the guitar amp simulation on the fly, rather than having to apply it to the track as a process, and go and undo all these settings and start over each time we make a change. This also removes the issue of effects being permanently saved to an audio file after closing and saving the project. To add the audio effect, click the Effects button on the track to open the Real-Time Effects panel. Then click the Add Effect button to get the drop down and choose from any of the installed Guitar Amp Simulator plugins on your computer. Here's where I'll launch the Amplitude plugin to simulate a guitar amp from that direct signal that I recorded. Within the Amplitude plugin, we can select a guitar amp, cabinet, and choose from a few pedals to add effects. These can be adjusted with the knobs on each of the amps. We can choose the microphone to pick up the cabinet, and we can turn on the pedals with a switch and adjust their controls with the knobs. With that done, we can now play back our track, adjust the settings for the amp simulation while we're playing it, and export the track with the amp simulation applied. Thanks for checking out this video on guitar recording and amp simulation in Audacity. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to products featured in this video and social media links to stay up to date on all our new content.